All right, guys, we're going deep in the woods. We got new tires on the truck, and let's just get going. Now, before we head out to the woods, we're going in some brutal conditions. I love being in the cold, but I hate being cold, and I figured out a way to dress. And I'm gonna share that with you right now. If you wanna avoid that, just jump to 223. Hey Siri, what's the tempo? It's one degree outside. And where we're heading, it's gonna be a lot colder than that. We're gonna go cut trails into the woods so we can harvest some firewood, but let's layer up first. I got my base layer on, and the rest, it goes on top of that. So this isn't a normal flannel, this is a tough duck flannel. Where are these? These are Duluth Trading Company insulated pants. These go on around November 15th, and they come off around April 15th. And we do get washed once or twice in between there. Next layer has a, is a light coat, but it's got a reflective liner in it. Now this one is a light, true work hoodie. Put your final layer on. It's again, a lighter coat. We're set for the day. Let's get to work. We're not bringing a skid loader up with us. But we still need something that can hopefully pull us off if we get ourselves in trouble. Let's see if she'll fire. Hasn't been driven in a long time. We're frozen. Sounds like she's ready to go. So we've got 140 acres and we want to get to the back 40 of that land. We've got to drop some fresh trees. We want them to dry and before we can do that, we just want to get out to it. So this is a Western MVP3 snowplow and I have a love-hate relationship with it. One of the things you guys will notice, this is probably the noisiest snowplow I've ever owned. And this is the way it's been since the first day I bought it. But honestly, that part doesn't bother me in even the slightest. So right here, this is a path that hasn't been touched yet or plowed yet this year, and I can't just fully drop the plow. I've got to hover it, so as the road is going up and down, I'm lifting and lowering the plow so it doesn't fully grab and bite, because if it catches one of those ruts, it'll shoot me one way or another. If you watch my hand on top of that steering wheel, you can see me adjusting to help contour for the road and the way the plow wants to take me. Now a path like this I could not have cut with a straight blade angle. It would have just pushed me one way or another. So I'm actually depending on that point, that B, to help guide me in the right direction. So it's a, it's a combination of the plow steering as well as my tires steering in unison. I'm not fully in control with just my steering wheel. Those Cooper discoveries are amazing. Ah. I lost my camera. 
That's a little bit of snow in here. Oh. Oh, that is a fat pile of snow in front of there. Oh, get it, girl. Come on. Oh, get it. Good. Get it, get it. We got some deep snow. I don't think you saw it when I stepped out of the truck and sunk up to my good thigh there. <laughs> that was a surprise. Oh. Whoa, we got That's some deep. Foot in some spots. Oh, dude. Yeah. yeah. I'd say. <laughs> yep. we got the short guy walking through the... We got a little bit of snow up here, that's for sure. Uh, all right, this is going to be one heck of a challenge for this setup. We're going to try to plow and get an opening going down to our lower pasture down there. We got so, new tires though. We got new tires, so that shouldn't be a factor anymore. <laughs> We're good. Okay, so I'm gonna have to turn this section down because the plow is so noisy that it's just gonna drown out anything I'm saying. So guys, we just can't hear it with the snow plow. But what I am talking about is my love-hate relationship with this Western MVP3. The plow, we've owned two of them now, going on our fourth or fifth season, and the plows have been flawless structurally they have been absolutely amazing and all of my western plows have been like that i've owned western for 17 years and i'm very happy with their the way they are built now i said hate i firmly believe that their v plows use an inferior cutting edge i absolutely believe that they could improve that and i feel that they don't I'm sure they're aware of the problem and I feel that that's something that they could address, but it just seems like they ignore it. And so I found actually a solution. And what I'm talking about is their, the cutting edges on their V-plows just wear down so extremely fast. We went through cutting edges on their V-plows faster than any V-plow we've ever used or any snow plow we've ever used. And then when we replaced it with their heavier gauge, blade that they offer and paid the upcharge, we didn't see any improvement in quality. But then I switched over to a company called Winter Equipment and used their cutting edges on it. And it's like night and day. Well, this company called Winter Equipment uses the same carbide technology that is in the DOT trucks going down the highways. In fact, they sell to them. And that's the same cutting edge you guys can get on yours. They're not on the board, I'm trying to get them, but they're not, but I hi still highly recommend them to you guys. Jeepy Jeep. I think so. I think, uh, I think we got her home. Well, that, that pile of snow was like 
over the hood of the truck, so. <laughs> All right. Jeep All right, Jeepy Jeep. So one of the challenges when you guys get a plow truck stuck is the weight of the plow, and that typically will be one of the worst areas that gets hung up. And so then you gotta work your plow, but it doesn't work very well. It's not like a skid loader bucket that you can push yourself out. So you're, you guys still gotta try to work it along with backing up. No, we've got to cut trails all through the woods because we don't want to take all of the wood from one area. We want to just harvest it, clear out some, and then that allows the other trees to come in stronger. So we harvest typically mm, 20 core, 10 to 20 cord a year out of our own woods to heat our homes. Probably closer to 20. Yeah. And it's usually a mixture of a little bit of hardwood and then some of the faster burning stuff. I think I hit something a little harder than snow that time. Yes, kind of sounded like it. Golly, it felt like I hit something really that just kind of... I seen it. it... It looked like you hit something, but I didn't really feel. There's a chunk of log that I kicked down out of here, so maybe you did. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, I think you, I think you disintegrated the end of a log. Okay. Wow. I think we might be a little. Whoa. Come on, work that blade, work that blade, push that blade. I gotta work. That's got you buried to the bottom of the I gotta door. Work that blade. Come on. Oh, he's oh. he's got it. He's got it, boys. Ooh, that was pure Cooper discovery right there. And <laughs> no, uh. they they're not paying me. Just seems like we've got two trucks now with them, and both of them, those are good tires. Drink of the day. This is going to be an odd one, you guys, but I'm double fisting it. These are my two favorites of all time. Well, almost all time. And they're completely different. Sometimes I like to drink them simultaneously, not like mix them, but I like to drink one and then drink the other because they're so different. It just kind of helps you almost appreciate the difference in taste. I kind of noticed that like if you just drink all of one, it tastes so good in the beginning and then toward the end, it's not so exciting. But when you do it like this, it just is always just as good at the end as it is at the beginning. And I still have a head cold. We're doing shout outs at the end, you guys. So this snow plow, it's kind of cool because it, it just rattles so much. 
And it doesn't matter what you do, it's just rattly. But it works so well. Just nothing breaks on them. 17 years we've snow plowed with western plows and hardly, a, I think we had one pump issue and that was almost it. Maybe a solenoid issue or something in 17 years. Other than on the MVP3s, both of them have had multiple cutting edge failures. That Jeep has pulled me out of so many tight spots. Oh God, that, it's got a Warn, W-A-R-N winch on the front of it. A best winch ever. Just an amazing winch that I use so much. I pulled skid loaders out, mowers out, trucks out. Oh man, I don't know what I'd do without this Jeep just because I needed to pull stuff out. Let's get to the list of shout outs that I promised you we were going to do earlier. The first one goes out to Owen Davis, 4650. Robert Andreoli, 
probably butchered that name, sorry. Andrew Fenuela, Pujan Hirani, Audi Pujan, what's up Pujan? He always opens with that, that's so funny. Coils Tree Service and OD Construction, okay? And then we've got a special one out to Greg Greg that got his Cat 955 stuck. Good job getting that stuck, Greg, but I can't say much. I've gotten almost everything I've ever owned stuck at one point, sometimes on purpose, just to see if you can get it unstuck because it is kind of fun. Carson Steele, Jamie Green, Taylor's Property Service, Dominic Farzetta, and Zai Tisherhart. 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 Hopefully I didn't butcher that too bad. You guys, a lot of cool stuff coming down the pipeline. So hopefully you'll hit that subscribe button and do me a favor, hit the like button when you guys come on or if you like the video, if you like the video, it honestly goes a long way. And, and thank you so much for commenting. I love you guys. It's so fun communicating and talking with you guys. And that's our video for today. Got our LMN banner up. Don't forget we've got sponsors. They sponsor you. That's because this is the 10% off. All these guys give 10% off. That's my buddy Dan Tools in Action. He's the one that actually came up with the idea for Dirt Monkey Force. He's like, you know what you should do? You should make a club for all your fans. Call it the Dirt Monkey Force. It'll be like the Mickey Mouse Club. That was Dan's idea. And I'm like, I actually kind of like that. And then Robert from Belts and Boxes actually just voluntarily drew me that sign. I mean, that's so cool. So, and they got a cool YouTube channel. Both of them got awesome channels. And then I reached out to CMP Attachments. I really wanted to get those guys on board. Just a well-built, American-made, Minnesota homeboy that does amazing quality work. I can't say enough from them. Ballard up right on top. Um, just an awesome company. Cujo Yardware and Top Notch Equipment. They all give 10 to 15% off on stuff on their website just to help you guys out. I think that's pretty cool. And then our main sponsor is LMN Software. And I have done my research. I know a lot about LMN Software and I will tell you guys right on that there is, okay, I'm gonna go a little deep, a 90% fail rate for contractors and that's higher than for regular small businesses because we've got two sets of skills to learn we've got the actual craft that we have to learn like how to build something or assemble something and then we also have to learn how to run the business and what happens with a lot of blue collar contractors is they focus on perfecting the craft and they don't concentrate enough on how to run the business once you learn how to use LMN software and implement it into your business, it helps you run your business. It takes that big scary portion that is really the success portion of your company and handles it with you. It's freaking phenomenal stuff. From the bottom of my heart it is, and if you're a contractor, they got, it says free up there, just do it. Free, not joking it's important hopefully you can see it that's what i got for you today guys i hope this stuff helps you out i started this channel to help you guys out that was my goal right from day number one and a lot of times i just say what can i do to help people out from how to dress i know that was hokey but maybe that helps some people go ah you know what because i i love being in the cold but i hate being cold so I figured out a way to dress and I wanted to share that with you to what I think of Western snow plows to what I think of Cooper Discovery tires to I don't know what else would you guys what would what would help enrich your lives I guess that's my goal that's it God bless you guys go get them see you on another one catch you guys later